So the next question is for Michael, and he asks, if you're trying to save money for a house, does it still make sense to put money into a retirement plan and or index fund? Absolutely. Uh, I think there's a couple of reasons why you, you, you definitely want to be saving uh, uh, for your retirement as soon as you can start. First of all, if you're saving through your employer, through your 401k, you're getting an employer match, and that's free money. And the earlier you start, the more compound interest works in your favor. And, and you know, unless there's some reason why you're really – why you need to be in a house very quickly. I would just, I would methodically save for my house, but I wouldn't allow that to interfere with my other goals in life. And, uh, you know, retirement saving is, is actually a better investment in many ways than a home. And, uh, uh, you know, there's just no reason to, to delay your, your retirement savings while you're saving for your house. Right. And there's a debate in economics, right, as well, that like some, there's some economists who say you shouldn't even uh, invest in house. If you look at the average, um, I guess, return from the the S and P 500, you know, averaged over many many years, that there's some who argue, right, that that it might actually be better to avoid owning a house. What, what are your thoughts on yeah. that? Yeah. Well, I I think you should view your house as something that you use and consume, not as the major source of your wealth. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, how how quickly you want to get into a house and what size house you want to buy depends a lot on your personal circumstances. I would not buy a house unless I knew I was going to be in a certain area for at least five years, probably longer, and I had a good 20% down payment. And on top of that down payment, a strategic reserve in case the furnace breaks or anything like that. Uh, you know, if Sometimes you need to buy a house more quickly. Uh, you know, it depends on your circumstances. But it's your house is your most leveraged and your most undiversified investment you're ever going to make. So I, I do think that that you should not view your house as your major source of savings. Uh, the good thing about your house, though, is that once you buy it and you're paying down your mortgage, that is a nice way that it kind of forces you to save. And over the long term, that can be valuable for people, but I, I think we've hyped home ownership way too much in America, and 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 I'm I'm cautious about it myself. When uh, I would say most of the questions that I get from friends, most of the financial advice questions I get relate to buying a home, and I tend to be very reticent about taking any kind of a uh, uh, sort of overextending yourself to buy a home earlier than is comfortable or with some goofy financing arrangement, something like that. I tend to be very conservative on that. Mm -hmm. So speaking of houses, uh, Key uh, asks, um, I'm curious to know if I need to choose between either saving for the down payment for a house or maxing out my 401k. What should I do, especially if the housing market is expected to grow rapidly in the next few years? Well, no one knows what's going to happen to the housing market. So I, I, would, say, I would say avoid trying to time any market. Uh, I think a lot depends on how much you need a house now. You know, if I have a, if I have, uh, you know, my wife is expecting a baby, and we want to have, we want to be in a particular school district, and buying a house is the best way to be in that school district. Well, that that might say, hey, I've got to put the pedal to the metal a little bit about buying that house. If I'm, if there's no particular urgency to buying a house now, or I'm not, or I'm a young person, I'm not quite sure how long I'm going to live in the area, and so on. Uh, prioritize the retirement. And, uh, you know, you start building up your, your savings for your house, but, but there's no particular reason to rush into that. Uh, you know, I think there's a little voice in our head that says you're not a full adult until you own your own home. And I think you got to tell that voice to just shut up. And, uh, you know, uh, because that's just not, uh, uh, that's not the way the financial life actually works. Well, that makes me feel good about myself because I don't own a home. So thanks for that. So um, on Facebook, you should feel good about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. 